Oh, and surely you haven't allowed unionist fears of war to shake you. Those fears are not unfounded. Of course they are! Look at the military maneuvers that have already taken place. Georgia troops seizing Fort Pulaski. Florida troops seizing a federal arsenal. Well, that's mere reorganization. This reorganization took place before Florida and Georgia even seceded. The Montgomery militias were drilling before Alabama seceded. There's nothing wrong with a few military exercises. Well, reasonable minds would see preparation for war, and we are at a definite disadvantage. Uh, Owen, Owen, Northerners are too miserly to finance a war, and they're too chicken-hearted to do battle with us. I have been in the company of Northern men on several occasions, and I don't recall anything in their manner suggesting an aversion to war. Well, don't you forget that I went to school up there, I am more familiar with the ways of Northerners. And besides, even if we were to go to war, we have got God on our side. What we have got is a weak industrial base and too few foundries to produce arms. But the North wouldn't want to risk its cotton supply. No, it would not. King Cotton will command world trade. You're putting too much stock in cotton. The North has the power to strangle us with blockades. But if the North were to place blockades, it would ruin Europe's textile mills. Then the <laughs> Europeans would have to come to us for their cotton. Now you just listen to him, Owen. Just listen to him. We is a fine example of southern white manhood. Young man, you exhibit maturity beyond your years. Thank you, Uncle Larry. That's the disadvantage of youth. It can mislead the possessor and deceive the observer. Now, Willie is a born leader. Willie is a voracious reader, desperately in need of a bath.